Hey, this is Bill for Sparky Channel. I recently got a question from a viewer, and it is, I saw online people were saying, do not put a microwave on a GFCI. Is this accurate? So I would like to address this today, and of course, being the Sparky Channel, we're going to be using the 2023 NEC codebook. And we're going to look back at the 2020 NEC codebook, and we're going to see that there's a lot of changes for 2023. This is NEC 2023 210.8D, and notice there is a triangle. That's a delta symbol uh, right before the D. That means that there are text deletions from the previous edition of the NEC code. The shaded areas represent new material. So this is very different from 2020. So here we are. D, specific appliances. GFCI protection shall be provided for the branch circuit or outlet supplying the following appliances rated 150 volts or less to ground and 60 amperes or less single or three phase. One, automotive vacuum machines. Two, drinking water coolers and bottle fill stations. Three, high pressure spray washing machines. Four, tire inflation machines. Five, vending machines. Six, sump pumps. Seven, dishwashers. Eight, electric ranges. Nine, wall mounted ovens. Ten, counter mounted cooking units. Eleven, clothes dryers. And twelve, here it is, microwave ovens. So, let's go back. It says, GFCI protection shall be provided for the branch circuit or outlet supplying the following appliances. So that means you can use a GFCI receptacle in your outlet or you can use a GFCI circuit breaker for the circuit. It says you definitely need GFCI protection for microwave ovens. Now let's quickly go back to the NEC 2020 and this is 422.5A and it says ground fault circuit interrupter GFCI protection for personnel. A general appliances identified in 422.5A1 through A7 and I'm going to show you those in just a second. Rated 150 volts or less to ground and 60 amperes or less single or three phase shall be provided with class A GFCI protection for personnel. Multiple class A GFCI protective devices shall be permitted but shall not be required. And here's the seven items they mentioned. One, automotive vacuum machines. Two, drinking water coolers and bottle fill stations. Three, cord and plug connected high pressure spray washing machines. Four, tire inflation machines. Five, vending machines. Six, sump pumps. Seven, dishwashers. Notice there's no microwaves on this 2020 list. So going back to the original question, no, that's not an accurate statement. You can put your microwave on a GFCI. And in fact, if you're going by the 2023 code, you must put your microwave on a GFCI, either as a GFCI breaker or a GFCI receptacle. And my preference would be to put the microwave on a dual AFCI GFCI circuit breaker. Another thing I like to do is to put the microwave on its own 20 amp circuit. The microwaves use so much amperage, especially at startup, that you will just avoid a lot of problems if you put it on its own dedicated circuit. So I hope that answers the question and I hope this video has been helpful. Thanks.